Yeah, so here's the shed. It's been cooking in the sun pretty much all day. The sun hits the roof from this direction about uh, 10 in the morning, and uh, it's in the sun pretty much till, oh, 6 o'clock at night when the uh, shadow of the house comes up and gradually covers the roof. Yeah, let's go inside and see what the temperature is. Okay, and here we are in the shed. So here's my wireless transmitter. We've got about 103 there, so we're about eight degrees warmer inside the shed than it is outside but that seems to be how it holds so i've got the second fan there and then my original fan is back here so yeah it seems with the two fans running 120 millimeter pc case fans this uh, thermostat keeps things reasonably cool keeps it about 10 degrees warmer than the outside temperature and considering the sun's been beating down on the roof it's it's definitely definitely warm up there so you got all that hot plastic radiating down the white uh, roof coating helps quite a bit but the uh, fans keep some airflow in here so it's not uh, stifling and I'll show you how I installed that second fan show you some of the details on that so we'll cut in some video clips of that now, good afternoon YouTube so I've decided to put another cooling fan in my garden shed so I put one on the left side and I was thinking of doing a same fan on the right side try to get a little more even airflow since the one fan just pulls air down the left side of the shed if I can have a fan on the other side pulling from that side I think it'll try to even out the temperatures a little bit this is the fan I used before it's a 120 millimeter PC case fan an Arctic F12 this one has PWM speed control but I'm just using it full speed one thing I really like about this fan it comes with this uh, daisy chain cable so here's your cable that would normally plug into the motherboard on your PC and then it comes with this extension connector and the neat thing you can do is just cut this wire off right here and then use this to plug in here and then tie this to your power cable so you just pick up the, I think it's the black and the yellow wire for power and connect those two up and that'll go to my fan controller. And then here's the um, dryer vent that I'm using just to show you some details on that. This dryer vent normally comes with this backdraft flap in there that goes into a couple of pivot points down there. So I got rid of that and then... I took the uh, grill off. This is the way the grill that fits over the bottom comes. And so I'm going to cut out a piece of window screen to fit over the inside of that that I showed you in the earlier video. And then this is the part that I need to trim off because I want to get this fan to mount flat to here. So I have to get rid of that flange. So what I need to do then to uh, remove this is just follow that line that's already marked there. I just take my Dremel here and I've got a small cutting bit in there and I just take it and if I get the cord out of the way. Let's just see if we can show you how I get started here. Yeah, there we go. Just have to you have to get the speed just right. If you go too high, you tend to melt the plastic. And if you go too low, you tend to overload the motor. So you have to find a compromise there. I think on this one, this is a, what is this one? The 395 Type 5. I think I was running around two. So you can see that cut works pretty good. Okay, YouTube, just finishing up the cutting here. So what I find works the best, I've got this little, um, I think this is a carbide cutter in my Dremel. And if you go around in this direction, you have a couple of uh, benefits here. One is all the uh, rough material gets pushed to the inside, and so the outside of your cut is nice and clean. 
and you're it's also pulling the the tool around this way and keeping it from going out of the circle because this is a definitely a case you want to stay inside the lines and then the one thing you want to do is either feel the air coming out of here or sometimes if you smell hot electrical stuff that's your clue to stop and let the moto tool cool down leave it on a, a low speed to keep the fan running because you don't want to burn up your motor which you can do pretty easy and then there we go you can see it's a pretty clean cut and then just to clean it up i take my deburring tool here and you just it takes a few, a few tries to go around and you can work the tool on the outside of the cut and then kind of work on the inside like that. Okay, there we go. Got it pretty well cleaned up. You don't have to be perfect just to get it close enough because you're just trying to get uh, enough opening there that the fan airflow can go straight through. And let's see if I can get this one clamped on there. Helps if you get a clamp on, then you can kind of slide things around because you have to get this centered because you're you're dealing with those that uh, recess in the uh, housing there. So you can just tell I'm right on the corner there, just a little bit over. There we go. Okay, there I think I have everything lined up. Got the two clamps on. I've left all four screw holes exposed. And now I can just work my way around and you can see how that hole is going to come out right there and that one's going to come out right there on the edge and all four of them drilled and then uh, what I use here on the for the top screws these are a number eight screw that I have so they they go in and they just barely fit into the holes in the fan they actually slip in, but since you're screwing them in at a kind of an angle, they give just enough bite to uh, to grab in there. Yeah, so that's ready to go. Got the screw holes in the bottom, so all I need to do tomorrow is go put this on the wall of the shed. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how I modified this uh, four inch dryer vent to fit a 120 millimeter PC fan. So if you have any questions about that, uh, feel free to post up in the comment section below. And I'll put some other videos on the solar garden shed project over here on the side. And as always, thanks for watching.